Are you curious about this PC? Well, stay tuned, because I'm going to talk to you about this magnificent bad boy right now. Hello, what's up YouTube? My name is Romeo, um, host of the Cortex Studio YouTube channel and in today's video I'm going to talk about this PC. This PC I built about nearly a year ago now so as you can see it's well it's, just, it's kind of review. If you just start off if you want to know anything about these products that are in my PC I'll include in the link to it down below in the description so let's get into it so as you can see this case we've got the NZXC H700i the I stands for because it's got the light strip under the top glass here and also on the side here but we've got the i7 a 700 so unfortunately this is not the K version, this is not the unlocked version so unfortunately I can't do any of the overclocking that I would have wanted to. Uh, we've also got the motherboard which is ASUS Maximus Hero 11 motherboard, it's a beauty, it's got RGB on top where you can see near the fan and on the bottom it's got an RGB logo. We've got the coolant, which is cooling this fan because you will need a lot of uh, cooling in case you would be overclocking this PC. So the coolant we've got here is none other than the H... What is it again? H110. So they are beautiful, very nice. In terms of the fans for the case, we've got, um, we're using the stock fans from NZXT. I think these are the 120s, or 120s on the front, and then I think, uh, yeah, 120 on the back too, as you can see there. So in this PC, we've also got the RAM, of course, we've got two 16 gigabytes of the Corsair Vengeance 32,000 speed, megahertz speed. Oh, yeah. um, so these are in the beautiful white, can match system, white and black, as you can see here, with a touch blue of RGB to sub scoop. Also, we've got the, the cables. So these are like the cable extensions, it's like I also got a power supply as every computer, of course, what I'm saying. Of course, every computer needs a power supply. Sorry, a G3750 from EVGA. Now, that's one. Yeah, that's one. So, this, I thought that um, 750 power watts, 750 power watts would be the right then because I didn't go with 650 in case it would uh, be enough to power this PC. Um, also, I didn't, I did this motherboard didn't, does it when I would, it didn't have, doesn't, well, it doesn't have, I should say, doesn't have Bluetooth or Wi Fi, so I had to get an extension for it. This is the TP Link. AC 600 and it's got if I show you here it's got three antennas that go into it here Do if you can see it here another one here and uh, you just slot it right into one of your oh great it's wrong on the camera that might catch you later and uh, it slots into a PCIe slot on your motherboard so this is awesome, so I don't have to worry about um, connecting to either of them because um, the internet is not a part of the house. So my PC, where I put it, isn't able to reach it. And finally, we should talk about the graphics card. What we have here is an EVGA GeForce RTX 2070 XC Black Edition. Now. I know it's not the high top spec like 2080 Ti, 
but I'm telling you guys, or 28, but this is the real deal. Yeah, if you if you can't get like your hands on a high spec um, GPU, I would at least go for the 2070 course. It is very good. I mean, like you're hitting, like for example, if I show the games, I play two Raider, and I'm hitting like the 100 FPS. 114 FPS mark, which is really good. Also, the CPU, it can, like, the 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 temperatures of these are too bad either. Like, they're both the same, like, uh, what's it called? How do I put it? Like, they're marking at the 37 degrees Celsius temperature point, which is, I would say, very low, which I'm impressed at. Um, yeah. So, um, on the top, as you can see, we've fitted the radiator. On the bottom, we've got um, three uh, 120 fans. And uh, as for the cable management now, so, how do I put it? So, I, because this is my very first PC, I had kind of trouble, like, how I was wiring up all the cables and then plug it in and... Oh, that's something. Maybe I watched on YouTube that maybe some, some, some YouTube people struggle to, um, who have been building pieces really might struggle to get cable management right. So the way I did, I use cable ties and zip ties, etc. But the, today, like, cause that's my first time cable management. I would say it's not. It's really not that bad. All you need is a few cable ties, vocal straps, and zip ties. Attach all the cables together. But make sure you find a route for each of those cables. For example, the, the front panel connectors, the the fan connectors, motherboard connectors, the um, SAT connectors, etc., etc., etc. So all of the if you tie them together, you won't get lost along the way, and in my experience, then you just get like, I think you just get a modular power supply. So the difference between modular and non-modular, modular is, I think, it's like where cables are not attached, so, so you have to do it, so you have to, and cables are not attached, Sh sorry about that, so cables are not attached, modular, so that means that you have to, you can leave you can only put the cables in that you need so that is a huge problem and modular non-modular means when you what's it called when you put the cables when most cables are in there's also a semi-modular one where only like I think 24 24 meter cable is on it and the rest of the cables are just um not attached, so you could attach what you need, but 24 cable as it's required for the motherboard, it's um, you can't take it off. But modular power supplies, then you can leave the cables that you don't need. For example, if you're not so to wrap this all up, everyone, this is my gaming PC that um, in the full form that I built. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comments, or tips on how I can improve this videos then please leave the comments in the comment box da down below so without further ado thank you everyone for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one peace